for a power series, what we are thinking about is, hey, what x value makes the power series convergence? So when we do that, we have to determine the interval of convergence and radius of convergence. In this video, I will go over this concept. But first of all, before I start, I don't want to waste your time. The, the radius of convergence and interval of convergence makes more sense. So this video makes more sense if you watch the next video first and then come back to this one. So if you take a look at my playlist, I have many, many examples right comes in right after this one. So it makes more sense if you watch one of them. You don't have to watch all of them. Just take a look at how I solve one problem, just one problem and then come back to this and this thing will make so much more sense to you. Okay, so let me continue. So uh, for a power series, how do I know a series is a power series? Other than n, other than constant, you see an x, right? So our job is what kind of x value makes the power series convergent? And the result is called interval of convergence. All right, so there are three cases. So to be honest, case one and case two, I do have that in the upcoming examples, but they are pretty rare. You don't really encounter case one and case two a lot. The problems are rare. So case one is uh, the rate the series is converged when x is equals to a, so the radius of convergence is equals to zero. By the way, what is radius of convergence? Think about that as a set of number. So it's like an interval. Let's say an interval between uh, negative two and two. So you have many, many numbers, right? Between negative two and two. So think about that as a radius of convergence. It's a set of number. And then case two is, is converged for any x value. And r is um, infinity. So it doesn't matter what x value you choose, the power series is always convergent. Do you see that there is an x in the power series? For case two, doesn't matter what x value you choose. Pick, pick and, and, and anything you like. You have all the freedoms you want. X is always convergent. In case one that is more strict, that the rate of power series is only convergent to one x value only. So case one converged to one x value only, no other exception. Case two is converged to any x value. So case one and case two, they are pretty rare, but case three, you see that almost in every single problem. So there is a positive number are such that the series converges if the absolute value of x minus a is equals to r. You have that in almost every single problem. So in fact, the next, the first problem in the next video is case three. So if the absolute value of a minus r, x minus a is less than r, converge, converges if the absolute value is less than r and diverges if the absolute value is greater than r. So the best way to think about that is uh, think, think about the, um, the, the geometric series. 0.5 raised, raised to uh, infinity power is equal to zero. So that means the sum is determined by the first couple terms. So the uh, sum is equal to a real number that is converged, otherwise is diverged. All right. So you will see that in the first problem in the next video. And then the, the green handwriting is what you need to do a lot in every single problem. So you have you will be solving a compound inequality. So this compound inequality, the result represent interval of convergence. So let me review the algebra for you as well. So when you solve a compound inequality, the piece in the middle is between positive r and negative r, and then you add a on each side. So you have a minus r less than x, and then less than a plus r. So the result, do you see that this result this result is called the interval of convergence. All right, so that result is called the interval of convergence. And then for a picture, so you have a straight line, the straight line is represented by x, so all the x value. So the lower limit is a minus r on the left, the upper limit is a plus r. So every x value between these two cuts, they will make the power series convergent including a itself and then if you are if the x value is outside of this interval then those x value will make the power series diverge now do you see that there are two open circle one at a minus r and then one at a plus r that is super important all right take a look at the take a look at what i underlined the two endpoints may or may not converge the x equals to a minus r 
x equals to a plus are those values may or may not make the series converge and please listen to me you have to test the endpoint you will see that in the first problem in the next video you must test the endpoint sometimes the testing will take a lot of work trust me in some problem the testing will take a lot of work and what about the radius of convergence the radius of convergence doesn't really do anything the most important is finding the interval of convergence so the radius of convergence is half of the interval right so think think about this you have one straight line right so you have a center and then a line on the left and then a line on the right what is the radius the radius is right here right so which is half of the interval we call that radius of conversion that doesn't really do anything but uh, it is good to know what it is all right so that is the end of this concept and again trust me to understand this video better it is highly highly recommended that you go to the next video watch one problem first and then come back to this video and you will understand more all right so at the end do you think i did a good job in explaining this to you if so let me know in the comment section below a thank you would be nice i'm so happy every time i see people write that in the comment section like the video subscribe to my channel i really want my channel to grow thank you all for your help i will see you all in the next lesson signing off for now